In August 1774, Joseph Priestley, a natural philosopher, made a famous experiment by focusing the sun's rays with a large burning lens on a sample of mercuric oxide. He isolated an air, that's what they called it. In those days, it appeared to be completely new. In his testing the gas, he found that it was five or six times better than common air for the purpose of respiration, inflammation. The gas he had discovered is now called oxygen. We have replicated Priestley's experiment for a NSF video project called Mystery of Matter. It is shows the conversion of mercury oxide into mercury metal and oxygen gas in a retort using the solar heat from a 10 inch diameter F3 lens. We have put together a chip which has a couple of short video clips and some stills showing the process of the conversion of mercury oxide into mercury metal and oxygen gas. The clip has a total of about five minutes containing about five individual episodes, about a minute each to choose from. One example, we have added a little extra heat from a torch to the side to the retort during a run to clear a small window in the mercury condensed on the inside to let the camera see the sample more clearly. Each episode such as this can be substantially altered, made shorter, be pieced together. If more episodes are needed, we have gigabytes of data collected over the last year, plus for one to sift through. The clips use the same apparatus used as in the scene shot for the Priestley segment in the mystery of matter. There might be some criticism of these videos as to the blurriness of the samples in the retort, and the menace unlike spots of light on the surface, suggesting a lot of light sources. They are not caused by the camera, nor the cameraman, rather nature has taken over. The image or replica of the sun, on the sample, is delivered by the big lens, and viewed through the retort and the camera and one's eye. The retort creates many effects on the image, from the natural optical, irregularities and, repeated internal reflections, caused by optical imperfections and, internal reflections of the spherical shape of, of the glass in the retort. They can cause some defects, on the image that might, seem unacceptable to some, they also could be very expensive to cure, and, lose some of the naturalness of the experiment. There really is only one source of light, and heat the sun which is at about 40 degrees off the horizon. Good luck. the episode where we have added a little extra heat from a torch to the side to the retort to clear a small window in the mercury condensed on the inside this to let the camera see the sample more clearly here in the bottom of the retort are some gray mercury drops some covered with mercuric oxide Here are some random, still photos of the experiment, equipment, and rotor running them. Warning the vapors and solids are very dangerous. Only experience. Experience qualified. Technical. People should be running, handling, and discarding the material. Good luck. Jim and Rhoda Morris.